Hey guys, Mr. Jordan here with this week's video lesson. This week we're going to learn about the San Joaquin River and we're going to learn about why it's considered an endangered river and what we're doing about it and why is it important to Fresno. So here we go. The view you're looking at right now is of the San Joaquin River and its water source. Where does all that water come from? Well, it comes from up there in the mountains. And when we don't get a very good snow during the winter, we have less water down here in the valley for us to use. All right, so the water starts up there and it comes down here. Well, why is it endangered? What happens to all this water? So I'm gonna pan out and I'm gonna go back and we're gonna look at the river and we're gonna talk about it. You can see there's a lot of water here. And this water in Fresno is still pretty strong. We see a lot of it. But as it goes through, as it goes through Fresno, it gets used by a lot of different people. And now we're going to see a view across this way towards Madera. Now, on the Madera side, the land is still used a lot for farming next to the river. And on the Fresno side, we built a lot of homes. So what has happened is, as the water comes down from the mountains, it's being used by farmers all across the valley. We produce more food in the San Joaquin Valley than anywhere else in the world. And that's where this water goes. Okay, so the farmers are using it, but why does it get considered endangered? Well, it's endangered because Normally rivers flow into the ocean. Well, the San Joaquin River doesn't. Uh, it is in the process of getting restored, so it will go to the ocean. But for years and years and years, uh, it didn't go anywhere because all the farmers took the water out of the river and were using it to grow these crops. So we don't have salmon in this river anymore. But a few years ago, because of this problem of the river being endangered, the government said, hey, we need to do something. Let's change this. And in one of the videos you're going to see in the lesson, we have tried to put salmon back in the river so that they will be a species that flows through here again. It's very important for that. So we have to have a balance between the farmers, nature, and the humans. So we'll see what happens in the future, but I hope you guys will enjoy the video and uh, learn a little bit more about why the San Joaquin River is important to us. Good luck guys, hope you enjoy the videos, and we'll see you later.